Hello and greetings from Iceland. Uh, we will go over the latest news regarding the ongoing volcanic situation on Reykjanes Peninsula. And as you know, the eruption at Shunukur crater continues with steady lava flow from the main crater towards the east and southeast, luckily in preferred direction where we don't have any infrastructure, no houses, no roads. It's totally wild area and the volcano is not causing any harm to anybody. Hence the eruption site is open to tourist traffic, many people are still hiking even in the rain, even in the conditions when you can't see the volcano because of the uh, fog as it was today, you still see many hikers there. The other major news is that the deformation observations show signs of a renewed uplift beneath the Schwarzenegger area, it means to the west of the lagoon. Currently, these displacements are very small, registering a total uplift of less than 2 cm over the past week, but nevertheless, it's important factor and it's very likely that the uplift will continue resulting most likely in yet another eruption perhaps within the next three four months i would say but we will see if uh, further measurements within the coming week will confirm whether uplift at schwarzangi will continue Now, a new crater has formed inside the main crater, the one to the west that you see in this video. The smaller one is the only one erupting now, and the activity is now limited to that crater. The small opening that formed yesterday west of the crater has now closed, and there is no activity on the western side of the crater. Uh, due to the great influx of tourists to the ongoing eruption site, the Icelandic Met Office issued a warning to the hikers not to walk on the newly solidified lava. The latest update says that visitors are strongly warned not to walk on newly formed or recently formed lava. Although the surface may appear hard and stable, the crust is often only a few centimeters thick and may conceal glowing molten lava beneath. Lava also retains heat for a long time and can remain burning hot long after the surface has solidified. An example of this can be found in the Vestman Islands, a Kipalago south of Iceland, part of Iceland, following the 1973 eruption of Altfett volcano. At that time the heat from the lava was used for space heating. In 1974 the first house was connected to an experimental heating system and within a few years dozens of houses on the island including the town hospital became part of what was known as the lava heating system. This solution attracted international attention as it was the first time in history that the heat from fresh lava had been used in this way. The system was in operation for up to 15, 15 years until the temperature of the lava fell below usable levels. It's incredible how long time for the lava it takes to cool down so this site will remain hot deep under for many years one may also compare a lava field with hot lava under the solidified crust to a frozen lake in winter time where you have ice hard ice on the surface and the thickness of ice can vary but deep under you have flowing water same here you have a crust 
the thickness of solidified crust can vary but just as in frozen ice in some parts if you walk on it and if the crust is too thin it will crack exactly the same thing happens here the thickness of the crust solidified lava crust can vary but deep under you may have hot flowing lava and it's no fun to crack through the lava crust into the hot lava this is far more dangerous of course than uh, cracking into the cold water through the ice in the lake as lava is hundreds degrees celsius hot this is something that one needs to remember when trying to walk on the lava <laughs> those are the major news uh, regarding the ongoing volcanic situation in Iceland be well have a great week and god bless